How's it going? I'm Matt Thorpe. I'm the host of the Coaches Show here at Southern Wesleyan University. Today we have head coach of our women's lacrosse team, Lindsay Snyder. How are you doing, Lindsay? Doing pretty well. Glad to have you here. Lindsay, the lacrosse team is getting started up. Uh, going to compete in the year 2017-18. Tell us about yourself, why you came to SWU. Uh, you were assistant coach at North Greenville. You were former head coach. And you took that team to a regional championship. And uh, you were a lacrosse player, four-year starter at Converse, also getting academically recognized while playing volleyball. You're pretty busy, very involved. Um, what brought you here? What brought you to coach here at SWU? Um, I kind of liked how it was a smaller campus, um, kind of like how it was at Converse, except here we actually have boys. Um, Whereas the Converse, you only saw people if you were in like education classes and there would be grad students in there. Um, but I did like how small the campus was and that you got to interact with the students and the faculty and everyone's like super involved with everything. So it's kind of good in that sense. And I like the values that the campus does have. So what are some of your initial priorities as a coach? Uh, the coming into the startup of an actual team. Do you have any ideas um, that you brought up from North Greenville or as a head coach, what are some of your, I guess, goals before the, uh, the actual competition starts? Um, right now I'm just trying to find girls who aren't going to come here solely for the purpose of lacrosse. Like You have to actually be invested in your future, not only just for the sport, because um, outside of lacrosse you are going to have to go into a career. So we do want to find something they can major in here that they're actually going to enjoy and carry on throughout life. Um, and I do think that being involved in a sport helps you gain life skills. Because if you have to be productive in the classroom and also juggle sports and practice, it's going to make you prepared come work field time. Well, that takes us into our next portion. How is recruiting going? What kind of strategy are you taking right now into the recruiting situation? Um, I've been emailing a bunch of different coaches. I've actually reached out to some players, been to a couple clinics, um, tournaments, everything like that. Actually going to two games tonight in Greenville. So are you recruiting based on numbers, just trying to fill a roster, or are you still looking for specific positions? Or? My first goal was to find goalies, and I actually already found two. Um, so I kind of got that part taken care of. And now I'm just trying to get players who have experience and mm -hmm. also looking for players who are just willing to try something new. Okay. So yes and no at the same time. <laughs> That's neat. Um, do you have any top prospects or top commits that you have come to the top of your mind? Um, the two goalies that I got, that, I was really excited about those. And okay. I was walking out of the office being like, hey, guys, look, we just got the goalies. Super cool. excited. Um, anytime they do any like, great stats, I'll post in the office and show it. Okay, cool. Well, as we look forward, uh, what are your goals for next year? First year of, uh, or the second year of Conference Carolina postseason eligibility for SWU, but it's the mm -hmm. first time for the lacrosse team. What are some goals as we go into a uh, Conference Carolina that has 11 other lacrosse teams that have been around for a couple of years? Um, since we are in a conference who does have some top teams like Limestone, mm -hmm. Olive, Bowman Abbey, they're always going to be like the top competitors. Um, some of those games, it's going to be more so like trying to like win specific goals of getting ground balls, mm -hmm. getting draw controls, things like that, to where it's not always focused on just winning. I mean, we do want to win, but there's some teams we're going to be able to compete with and other teams that it's trying to pick the small goals and victories you're going to be able to do. Hmm. Well, we wish you the best of luck next year. Make sure you tune in next time to the Coach's Show, where we'll have the new head coach of women's triathlon, uh, Jamie Church. Thanks.